If you've ever wanted to edit multiple compositions in one After Effects project without having to go through every single settings menu and make all your changes individually, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Studio AAA multi-comp editor for After Effects, which is a JavaScript file that you can install into your After Effects and use on any project file, either just in a UI panel or in the scripts menu. So to get started, you're going to need to go to studiotriplea.com slash multicomp and download the multicomp editor. It's free. I don't have a page to show you in this video because the actual website page, I've not made that yet. I'm making the video first. But if you download that, these are the files that you'll get. There are two JavaScript files that come in a .jsx format. The version number you get might be different. If I ever update this, it will go beyond v1. But right now I've just got the v1 files here. And to demonstrate how this works today, I'm going to open up an existing After Effects project that I've got. This is a project file called Glitch Machine and it's kind of why I made this script so that this is easier to work with. So just to demonstrate, we've got some typography in the Your Artwork Here comp and this is the output comp and there are multiple other comps in between this. So you can see here like it's a complex After Effects file. There is an animated scanline texture comp, a complex noise comp, CRT bend controls over four different comps, a distortion comp, a chromatic aberration comp, a solid comp, an image balloon comp, and then the main comp where this effect comes together. So this can be really tricky if you just want a longer animation or if you just want to downscale or change the FPS because you're going to have to go into all of these settings and change them all one by one. And that's very annoying. So if you come to file and go to scripts and click install script file and just navigate to wherever you saved these two files here. The first one you have to install via install script file is the multi-comp editor simple UI for AE. So install that one through install script file. Then once that's installed, it'll prompt you to close After Effects, but don't close it just yet. Come back here to this menu and go to install script UI panel. And then that's where you install the multi-comp editor for AE. So these are two different scripts that work differently, which is why you install them differently. But whenever you install an After Effects script, it wants you to restart After Effects to sync up like the installation, I guess, of the script. So make sure you close and reopen After Effects. I've obviously already got it installed on mine, so I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to show you how it works and a couple of the drawbacks and things you should be aware of of doing it this way. There are two ways to run the script. If you're going to be having like a longer, if you're going to be working in After Effects for a few hours, then I recommend going to window and then coming down to the multi-comp editor for AE. And that will load up a UI panel that you can literally just dock away in your After Effects UI and make changes. And then you can come back to it or, you know, you don't have to keep running it again and again and again. The other way to do it, which works exactly the same, but has a, just like a different display for it, is going to file scripts and then just run the multi-comp editor simple UI. This is better if you're just making one overall change rather than having the panel for like multiple changes. So click on that and it will essentially just bring up this little prompt for entering the new settings in one. Whatever you do here afterwards, it will just exit that panel after it's made your changes. So if you want to keep it persistent, you can go into the window one. If you want to just do one change, you can go to file and scripts and do it that way. So just a demo here. If you look in my project tab, as I click through these comps, the glitch machine comp is 2160 by 2160 and 20 FPS. And it's by default 10 seconds long. So if I click through the rest, they're all the same. As you can see, some of them are different sizes because I've been adding in different assets and stuff. So first thing I'm going to show you is if we just want more seconds here. So this is a 10 second animation. If you want more seconds, you're going to take apply to all compositions in this project. And let's say we want it to be a minute long. So change the duration in seconds to 60. Press OK. It'll give you this little alert that it's applying the changes, but it doesn't actually do anything until you press OK on that and it'll update the composition successfully. So obviously there's no visible change because we only changed the seconds, but if I zoom out now, you can see that we've now got 50 seconds here of unused um, space in our layers. And if you go to the other comps now, like the Your Artwork Here comp, again, and zoom out, you can see it synced the changes to all the comps. Now in the script, it does create what's called an undo group. So that means that it knows that you've made all these changes as one change rather than as one, two, three, four, five, six, however many comps you've got. It just groups them in as one change. So if you make a mistake, you can just control Z and it will undo all of the changes at once rather than having to undo 10, 11 times for each like composition that's been affected. Now, an issue here can be, as you can see, I've got a distortion displace video comp here, which is not 
2160 by 2160. This ideally should stay the same size. I don't really want to be changing the size of this comp. So if I still want to make some changes here, I just untick the apply all box and then holding control, if I go and click on each comp that I want to change, so let's say I only want to change these selected comps here, but I want the rest to remain the same, the script will take into account your selection when it's making these changes. So if I just make a change now and I'm going to make all these comps 30 seconds and 30 frames per second, but leave that box unticked and press OK. If I look at the distortion displaced video comp now, you can see that this is still 10 seconds long. So it, we know it's not updated that one. If I go into one of the ones that I just edited, like the main comp, which is called Glitch Machine, you can see in the project tab up here, it's 30 FPS and 30 seconds, which is the settings that we entered. So it will also take into account the selection that you make in the project tab. Now, I said at the start, there are some drawbacks to this. I'll show you the first one now. So if I zoom out here, After Effects creates the workspace or the um, size of like your canvas from the top left. So the top left here is zero, zero coordinates. And then the bottom right here will be 2160, 2160 coordinates because that's my, that's my document size. So that means that if I change this comp to 1080 by 1080, it's not just going to crop inward like Photoshop, for example, would. It's going to crop out the bottom right. So instead of going in like that, it just goes in like that. And as a result, when you make changes to multiple compositions using this, you then need to go and sort of rearrange things. I'll show you what I mean now. So if I just do 1080, 1080, and let's select a couple of compositions here so you can see what I mean. So I've got these ones selected and I press OK. It'll do the changes. Then as you can see here, it's starting to crop. When I press OK, it'll finish the crop and you end up with just the first 1080 pixels along each axis rather than it like knowing where to crop to. So I would also recommend if you're doing this, just going to window and making sure you've got the align menu because this is going to allow you to go through and just quickly like realign all your layers. Um, might take a little bit, but this is still a quicker process than going through and, you know, going in the composition composition settings for every single one basically. Just to prove to you as well that the other script works, if I go to file scripts and just run the multi-comp editor simple UI version and just enter my settings, apply to all, let's just do something like 2160 wide by 1080 high, 20 FPS and let's just go six seconds long, press OK. It'll take a second, update everything. And as you can see at the bottom now, we've only got six seconds and it's cropped my composition down and it's cropped all the rest of them down as well. So both of them work exactly the same. There is one issue that the UI version, so this version in the panel has that the other version doesn't, and it's just that if I close After Effects now, or if I move to a new project, this will stop working. Now, the reason for that is if you have an After Effects plugin, the plugins are all loaded in when you open After Effects and every time you open After Effects, it knows to load all your plugins. Whereas with a script, you have to trigger that manually. So if I just show you now, I'll just close After Effects now. Ignore that I've got Photoshop open already, but I'm going to reopen it now. When this panel here comes up with the splash screen, it might be cropped out. This is where it's loading up all your plugins. So as I said, though, because this script is not a plugin, if I now try and make changes with this UI panel, you'll get this error message. All this basically means is you just need to close the panel and go back and reopen it and it will work again. The act of reopening it creates the user interface and like initializes what this script does. And because this is my first like attempt at making something in JavaScript, I'm not quite ready to make it a plugin yet. I might make it a plugin one day, but for me, like it works fine as a script. So just make sure if you are switching around projects and you get in that error message and you, you don't know what's going wrong, um, generally any error can just be fixed by closing the panel and just reopening it. And obviously I included the other version where you just go file scripts and run the simple version just to um, make it easier for people if you, if you don't want to have to deal with that every time. Now, if you're new to After Effects scripts and for whatever reason, if you don't want this little studio um text at the bottom, you can go in in Notepad and remove that or change the text. Uh, you can read the, the JavaScript for these files 
not like hidden or anything. I don't even know how to hide it if I can. But if you are experienced with JavaScript and you have any recommendations on how this can be improved, or if you'd like to make an improvement yourself, or if you want to take any of the code in this and use it on your own stuff, like go ahead. Um, I had a lot of help making this and any problem I came across, I immediately Googled. So um, you might see some stuff in here that isn't wholly original, but I'm really happy with how this came out. I've wanted this feature in After Effects for so long. It's so annoying that this isn't like a default feature. But yeah, if you just, uh, if you right click and just go to open with, you can do Notepad. I would recommend Notepad++ if you've got that. Works in any type of project file, any amount of comps you've got, whether they're new or added before or after you've run the script. Like if I make a new composition here, just name it whatever, give it like some kind of silly width, like 800 pixels and a thousand high, and we'll go one FPS, 10 minutes, press OK. And you've got this weird comp now. And obviously this comp was made after I ran the script for the first time. So just to show you, it works on new comps as well. If I just change it to 2160, 2160, 20 FPS, 10 seconds, tick apply to all, press OK. And you will see that the new comp that we just made with stupid settings gets updated as well. Like I said, so I think that covers everything because this is a free resource. If you get any errors or problems with this, I will do my best to fix them if you just get in touch. But obviously I can't guarantee it because it's free. If you're new here, I make one free design resource like this every single month at studiotriplay.com. This is the first JavaScript one I've done, but I make them all year round every single month, usually more than one month, to be honest. Last month, I think I did four or five, but I really hope this helped. Um, any questions or anything, let me know. I'd really appreciate if you share this channel or this video with any of your creative friends or anyone you know who uses After Effects. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.